Whenever the Thermionic Man brought me my lathe, he also gave me one of these dial indicators. But this one is really stiff. Goes through that pen. That's cool. <laughs> Actually, I've decided I'm just going to try putting some sewing machine oil on there. That might help. Helped a bit, but not quite, so. You know I think it's turned into a teardown, because as I'm doing this, a lot of metal filings are coming out in the oil. Probably not very good. Probably shouldn't be black. can't see a way to get the front off. Oh. Never mind. I just found it. Okay. Well, there we go. That's pretty simple. It's actually picking up quite a bit of um, brown metal filings. So it's like a pin. Oh yeah, so what they do is they have that very thin spring go to that hole and they have this like cork shaped wedge crunch in there to hold the end of the spring inside that. Getting some of that extra oil out. So it appears that this should be wound up a bit before putting back in. Okay, so the alignment of this matters a lot. So I need to remove it, move this down, move that back up, move it more so it tensions the spring even more, move that, hold the dial so it doesn't turn, move that back down. So I'm, I'm ratcheting it back before I put it down for the final time. So it seems like one of the issues might have been that this was too close 
and so this was too far over. There's there's room where I can loosen these. And I can push this entire thing to where there's more friction. And now in order to, to tell how, how far apart the uh, two gears are, you can actually uh, twist this and you can really tell. Okay, so that rattles a little bit. Now I probably should have actually made it to where it would go all the way up. So we'll do that now. I'm going to take this off. And I'm going to put this to up and put that to down. So now you can actually calibrate it where it stopped. Oh, look at that. You know, the more I'm messing with it, the better it's getting, so I'm happy with that. And if I want to make that even more exact and up pointing, I can do this and I can push this down. And there we go. Perfectly. Well, yeah, good enough for me. I got that totally reversed. And this has some more slop in it too, so I can center that. That kind of moves around. I can center that on the back. Because why not? I'm already here. Oh no! There's a thumbprint on the inside of this. That would drive me crazy. piece. No extra pieces. At least none that I can find. So I'm very happy with that. Now let's take a look at this. A lot of crud and dust in here so I imagine that might be making it. That might be the reason why you have to clamp it down so hard. Cool. Spring loaded. 
I never saw that before. That's nice and strong. It's actually not that bad. Only going around like up and down, I believe it's one one thousandth of an inch. <laughs> I'm really happy with that. That's far better than having to do it by eye. Because before, I would put my tool right next to the part, and then I would turn it by hand. Oops. And then I would just have to see, like, watch the gap. And I could get it on quite a bit, but I couldn't get it that much. So, I'm really happy with that. That must be like an order of magnitude of improvement upon the precision precision which I can even attempt with this now because you know like it just wasn't that good before. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video and thank you very much for watching. See ya.